How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another Dragtoon video. This is your boy Mars. Today, we are going to do more anti lag. As you guys see in the background, got the RTR, and it's all wheel drive. So, we're going to do an all wheel drive anti lag system uh, for you guys. Tune for you guys. Got two tunes to show you guys. One is going to be for the free roam that you guys can come out, you know, drive it around, race whoever, drag race whoever. And the other is going to be for the drag strip with the launch control. With the launch control, um, use the new launch control and it actually moves really good in the drag strip events. So if you guys did not know, uh, you can also, the launch control works good in the drag strip events. So I'm going to show you guys that, show you guys the full build on this. And then uh, give you guys the tune at the end of the video. So all everybody new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And uh, let's get right to it, guys. So as you guys see, got the 2018 Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5. Let's go right over here. One of the most used vehicle in the Forza franchise from um, this one and the last one. Um, as you guys see, the car has 7.2 liter V8 with 1,800 horsepower, 13 foot-pounds of torque. Um, weighs 3,000 pounds, all-wheel drive. And let's go over here as you guys see of course all-wheel drive and then we got in the twin turbo so normally a lot of people did the all-wheel drive with this car compared to the rear-wheel drive um, and as you guys can see we got the beautiful anti-lag on there super 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 monster of a car um, with the anti-lag so now we got that on there let's go over here and let's add these parts on here Rally on the suspension, really good. No roll cage needed, and full weight reduction. So it still weighs 3,000 pounds, but 1,800 horsepower. So the car moves really, really, really good. So follow the parts that I put on here. Everything else is just going to be raced on that drive line, drive train. And uh, let's go right over here. Put those drag tires. Need those drag tires to have that good grip. Uh, no width in the front, and then we got full width in the rear. Almost all the percentage there on the all-wheel drive is always going to be towards the rear. Um, so we got more percentage there towards the rear. Need that full grip there. 355s in the rear. And then let's go over here to the wheels. Make sure to grab any wheels you guys want that are super, super, super light. Got these uh, weds, uh, welds on there. Uh, weds racing wheels look really, really good. Um, also, they're all beaded out wheels all the way around. So can't go wrong with that if you guys want to put spacers go ahead but no need for the spacers um, and that is uh, it I think I did uh, is there any other options uh, yeah you can take off the little spoiler that it comes with comes with a real nice spoiler there um, you can take it off to reduce some weight so that's the other option you can do and that's what I did let's go right to the tune guys so this is the street version uh, 1.3 0 to 60 2.5 0 to 100 traps 281 really nice there tire pressure 15 15 uh, then we got the gear ratios here at 220 final drive first gear is 310 uh, second gear 225 third gear 170 fourth gear 135 and fifth gear 115 and then we got six at one zero everything out in seven one and one then we got stiff in the front at 790, soft in the rear, so it does an initial squat. All that power distributes to the back and stays in the back. And then also with the suspension raised all the way in the front, dropped all the way in the rear. And then we got 20, 20, 1 and 1. So again, all that power and weight goes shifted from the front to the back, squats, car, just, and grips and goes. So that's the initial theme of it all. Uh, nothing with that or that 100 0 100 0 and 80 percent towards the rear that is the tune there for it the street version let's take it out for a little spin and then also show you guys the drag race um event version that one actually did, did some really good numbers i went back to my old videos to take a look at the old rtr that i had for the drag strip and uh, man, it did it did pretty good. It did pretty good. It did like 0 0.1, 0 0.2 seconds faster uh, with the anti-lag system and using the launch control. Uh, but now what we have here, as you guys see, launch control is activated, but we're not going to really use it for the drag strip. I mean, not, not for the drag strip, for the street. We're not going to use the launch control for the street. We're actually going to take it off for the street. And it's lag is so much, but we're going to take it off for the street and then use it um, only for the track. So that's a, take it out for a little spin here. Love the backfires there, 
that sound really really cool let's go here to the half a mile this is a half a mile vehicle and then um, we're going to use the old school method which is the um, the 4k launch if you guys don't know how to use that I'm gonna show you guys how to use the 4k launch but that is the best method so far for it the streets um, even on a all-wheel drive is still the best method so let's go here turn off the launch control also these are my settings there make sure to be standard on that steering wheel uh, manual with clutch is the way to go and uh, the rest of the settings have it the same way so let's go over here now to the half a mile so let's line up here to the half a mile make sure to get these tires hot the car likes to have some really nice hot tires if you guys want some reverse and full reverse hot and the grip a lot more than just coming outside and doing the initial first launch so e-brake gas and clutch is the way to go um, what you do is you press e-brake gas you're going to see the needle shoot up and then you hold it with the clutch you can tap on the clutch and then hold the clutch a little bit now all the way down and now we have 29 pounds of boost at 4900 rpms compared to the launch control and all you got to do is let go of the clutch and e-brake there you go. So if you keep those tires hot, the car will grip a lot more, um, and then you will do a, a better grip your first gear launch. Boom! There you go on the trap speed. Look at those backfires. Sounds super crazy. On the trap speed, 231 there on the trap speed. Really, really good. Let's go back here. Do one more pass, and then I want to show you the anti-lag, or not the anti-lag, the launch control, how that works. So let's do another pass here. Those tires high real quick. Let's make this grip a little bit here. I did not want it to go up. Hold the Alrighty. These tires hot. Same launch. You break gas and clutch. Still, still trying to go through. For some reason, those were open earlier. Um, if it does do this, you can just do about five clicks towards speed on that first gear. And then you can get it to, uh, grip even more on there so I did it on that breaking point where it can kind of want to spin on you even if it's not, it's not. it is what it is that's why I show you guys the tune so you guys can like you know do a little bit of tweaking on it if you guys want um, to make it a little bit quicker so as you guys want you can do like five clicks there towards and then um, there you go you can grip a little bit more there and uh, initially the car just keeps launching keeps moving as long as I do it, all that spin, but it's still moving really, really, really good. But yeah, that is that with that. And let me show you guys real quick what it looks like with the launch control. So with the launch control being turned on, uh, let's go right over here. So now, when you look at it, now it's 29 pounds of boost, but now it's at 3,500 RPMs. When you let go of it, it does like it holds almost at 5,000 as you guys saw a little bit past 5,000 so initially the 5,000 launcher that we were doing in the first place was better than this the lower RPM as you saw now right after you launch the car it does like a pause at higher than 5,000 meaning 5,000 is probably a good good number to be at and uh, when you take it off with the uh, 4k launch you're actually at a 4,500 RPM a 4,900 RPM at 5,000. So, taking the, the uh, launch control for the street is a lot better. Doing the old school 4K launch is the way to go. So, that is that. The uh, other one is going to have the same exact tune. So, let's go over here real quick. Let me uh, let me just load it up since we're right here already, anyways. So, I'll just go over here to the Fords. Let's go in here. Here we go. This is the all wheel drive. Uh, drag race one for the drag strip half a mile so let's go and it already has the launch control system already activated as you guys see but look how the way the needle reacts it just reacts and behaves so wrong with this launch control but in here it drives really good so let's go in here real quick and let's start up an event and then i'm gonna show you guys at the end both of the tunes there share codes so you guys can have both of those and that'll sum it up, man. Hope you guys are enjoying the anti-lag launch control. Hope you guys are figuring out different little tricks and ways. Um, make sure to let me know in the comments what you guys feel about it.
what you guys are thinking about the anti-lag or launch control. Um, I honestly love the anti-lag. Do not like the launch control. Do not like the launch control. I think that our old school 4K launch is dominant and still way better. Um, a lot of the cars have been launching way better. You can actually get more boost on some of the cars. Um, launching at, a, at our normal 4K launch than that 3000 or whatever it is that it picks for you. Um, and it's just been a lot better. Here on the drag strip though, it actually worked pretty good. So what we're going to do is just full gas the car and then it should um, move and you can find and see where um, shift that first and second will be. There you go. So you're just going to shift that first and second, kind of go by feel between that first and second. Um, so once the car starts moving a little bit further in front of the other, then you shift it to that second gear and it should uh, grip pretty good there. So let's see what we did. We did a 12.6. I think I, got, I, got, I did a 12.5 um, was my fastest. I think it was like a 12.52 was my fastest. I'll put that video around here so you guys can take a look at it if you guys haven't already. Um, but yeah, 12.5 was my quickest there. So let's do another launch. There you go. Kind of wait that perfect time to shift it from first to second. I can't see the needle in time, um, but I know that it was just about a red line, so I shifted. Sometimes I'm doing, I'm doing it way too early and it's causing me to bog that second. You got to do it just right. There you go, guys. A 12.5 there in the half a mile with this car. Um, let me show you guys the tune for it and then you guys um, can uh, do whatever you want with it. It's going to be it's the same exact build, so I'm not going to show you guys the build, um, but it's a different tune. So let's go outside here. Anytime now, whenever it does load up to go outside. Okay, here we go. And then let me show you guys the tune for it. So let's go to the tunes here. And at now it's 1.2, 2.6, same top speed, 1515. Here is the difference here is uh, the 220, 390, 260, 190, 145, 115, and 1. So that is the difference there. It's just those gears are shorter. Uh, nothing with this, 7, 0, 0, stiff, soft, stiff, uh, raised, lowered. Uh, stiff, stiff, soft, soft, nothing with this or this, and 100, 0, 100, 0, 80. So it's exactly the same, uh, but just that tune ratios are all different. Let's go over here real quick. Let me show you guys the tunes for it. So let's go all the way back to the end here. So this is the anti-lag street version, and here is the share code for it, 285-739-872. That's the street version, and this is the drag strip version. For the drag strip, so you guys can take it out to the half a mile, the mile, all those ones. Um, and then you got 252, 572, 957. So that is that. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe, and I'll see all you guys around with another drag tune video. Peace out, everybody. Bye bye.